So, Chargers. Y'all really had to do that, huh? You guys can't see my face right now, but if you did see it, what you would find on it is a look of contempt and disappointment. Really, Chargers? You really didn't want to hire Jason Garrett as your head coach, man. Like, like are you are, are you serious right now, bro? Because oh, this man was going to take Justin Herbert to the next level, bro. I can't even blame y'all. Let me stop playing. But, yep, it's, uh, it's confirmed. Jason Garrett is not going to the Chargers. It's not exactly confirmed yet that he's going to be back as the offensive coordinator. But we all know in the back of our minds, no matter what type of rumors or news came out about him interviewing places i think we all had in the back of our minds he was going to be back as our offensive coordinator this year so yeah th there's that i got an article here from john's wire uh let me see who is the author of this article by dan benson of john's wire but you know this was kind of all over twitter twitter late last night the chargers i think they hired staley as their um new head coach who was that that was the uh that was their defensive coordinator of the Rams, I think. So basically, right across the stadium, he is now the new head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's looking more and more like Jason Garrett will be back. Um, and I mean, well, you guys know how I feel about it. There is a pro to it. The pro is that Daniel Jones doesn't have to learn his third playbook in his third year. Um, the pro is that the players don't have to learn another playbook. Uh, consistency. And... Um, other than that, I re I really don't know, y'all. Yeah, guys, I've been like, like I've been one of the first people on YouTube to just straight up give up on Garrett. Like it was like week four, and I'm like, I'm already done with this dude. Funnily enough, against the Chargers, against Brandon Staley, I was like, I can't stand this dude and his play calling, man, and his play calling decisions. You know the routes these receivers are. I can't stand what Jason Garrett is doing. I'm not gonna you know try and change my way or you know sugarcoat or whatnot i just wholeheartedly believe that jason garrett was not a good offensive coordinator for us and maybe he can improve you know what i'm saying with a healthier roster and with better playmakers hopefully you know at the start of next season maybe he can improve you know maybe his play calling will evolve a little bit because honestly it does not match the modern day NFL, not only in terms of the splits, uh, runs to passes and whatnot, but also the types of runs that we're running and the types of passes and the types of, run, um, you know, passing routes that are being ran out there. I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, a lot of fans throw out the idea of maybe we should hire a passing game coordinator. I'm not opposed to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not opposed to it. It's just like, alright, then who are we going to hire as a passing game coordinator? Like, I haven't heard of that in a long time. Like, if you need to hire a passing game coordinator, bro, just hire a new offensive coordinator, like, straight up. Like, the Eagles, for example, were talking to before Doug Peterson got fired, were talking about hiring a passing game coordinator. Like, if you need to do that, it, you should just get a new offensive coordinator, but... I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. It's an, it's an admirable idea. You know, it's a good one to throw out there. I just don't see it happening at all. I don't know. I don't think the Giants are a team that would just go out there and get a passing game coordinator. I, I don't know. But you got to hope that some with Jason Garrett's offense changes. You know, specifically the play calling. That Like we saw Freddie Kitchens using the same playbook have better play calling. So hopefully something changes. But we won't know until the season gets here, right? And let, let me get into this uh, article here from Dan Benton of Giants Wired says, in his end of the year press conference, the New York Giants general manager Dave Gettleman said he was angsty over the prospect of offensive coordinator Jason Garrett potentially being hired away. As far as the potential of Jason leaving, of course it makes you a little angsty. Just imagine, anybody, any of your guys, having your fourth editor in four years. It's the same thing, it's no different. We'll adjust and adapt and do what we have to do, but obvi and obviously anything we do moving forward. The good news for Gettleman, at least for now, is that he could breathe a sigh of relief. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reports that the Los Angeles Chargers have passed on Garrett and decided to hire Brandon Staley as their next head coach. And we all know what Gettleman is saying here. Going back to, you know, one of the few pros of Garrett staying is that Daniel Jones ain't gonna suffer any type of consequences from it, basically. The article continues, Garrett had previously interviewed for the Chargers job and that meeting reportedly went well. However, at no point was Garrett considered the favorite for the job, despite internet-created rumors that suggested otherwise. And there's <laughs> that particular line is hyperlinked. 
I didn't click the hyperlink, but I'm sure if I click it, it's just gonna be a bunch of Giants fans trying to speak it into existence. That's exactly what that line right there means, bro. We were all trying to speak that into existence. The Chargers were also the only team to show public interest in Garrett, which means he's likely to return to the Giants as their offensive coordinator in 2021. Under Garrett, the Giants extremely vanilla offense finished 31st in scoring with 17.5 points per game, 31st in total yards per game with 299.6, and 29th in passing with 189.1 yards per game, and 19th in rushing 110.5 yards per game. They will obviously need to do much better next season, and like I said, Garrett will obviously need to evolve somehow. There were a lot of factors, you know, specifically injuries. The offensive line, which was not doing good for like the first six, seven weeks of the season. Um, at the end of the day, the offensive line overall, if we were to judge their overall performance, was subpar this year. Like the reason we're all excited is because we can see where it can get. We can see legit potential in here. We, I think we all know, you know, we got the left tackle of the future, right? We, we got a right guard as of now in Kevin Zeitler. The right tackle is still being figured out because we don't know. Like, for some reason, they didn't put Matt Parrott out there that much. Will Hernandez is hopefully the left guard of the future. You know, he was a bit shaky. But, like, there's, like, at least three-fifths of that line there, I want to say, right? But it's not finished yet, and that definitely has a part to do with it. Hopefully, Saquon being healthy helps out, you know, the calling, the play calling. And hopefully, with a couple more playmakers, whether through the draft or free agency, that also helps out the play calling. Hopefully, with a regular offseason, you know, we're talking about, you know, training camp, a legit training camp, a legit, you know, voluntary mini camp, uh, voluntary OTAs. I think the mini camps are mandatory. Which one? One of them is mandatory. I, My brain's in a jumble. But hopefully, the idea is, with a full NFL offseason, that also helps it out, right? But to be honest with you guys, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Somebody's gonna need to talk to Garrett and be like, you really need to adapt to the modern day NFL because this is not it, man. Like sometimes I, I'm watching the Giants offense and I'm thinking to myself, the plays that are being called are straight out of like 1996 or something, man. It's just, it's old. It is old, it really is. And it, it never looked like this with the Cowboys. I don't know what's up. You know, you think about like from basically where he was like the offensive coordinator from 2007 to, was it 14? Or I should say he was calling plays from 2007 to around 14, I want to think. They were never terrible. They they were actually pretty good. So I'm not sure what it is. And Jason Garrett, he's a smart guy. So he could definitely adapt. So I just hope that he does that. But put your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you all think. That's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.